Hello everyone. I am Linish along with Ashish. Welcome you all in this new video about Bitlix. So let me tell something about Ashish. Ashish is basically a CISSP, CISM, CISA, CCSP, PMP certified. He is also a principal cybersecurity architect. He is a researcher and also author. I am Linish Kalpande, senior security analyst. I am also a certified ethical hacker and the researcher. And I am also a member of OVAS. So please do like and subscribe our channel Learnpeak Edutech for latest security update and videos. Let's begin this session. Agenda for this session is about Git leaks, installation of Git leaks, and tool demo. So let's go with about Git leaks. So what is Git leaks, and what is the purpose of Git leaks? Let us understand here. Git leaks is a SaaS tool. And it is for detecting hard-coded secret like password, API key, and token in your Git repos. And Git leaks is a is an easy to use all-in-one solution for finding secret, whether that secret is past or present in your code. So these are all features of Git leaks. So let 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 me explain what is the importance of Git leaks. So basically, whenever developer is writing code, they they do so many mistakes. What they do, they basically commit secrets within the code. And that secret could be AWS secret, or that could be an API key, or the GitHub tokens. So if that secrets are active, and someone could, someone could have stolen that secret, then it could lead to a major security breach. So to avoid this, we are using Git leaks. With the help of Git leaks, we're going to detect those secret and we're going to deactivate those key which are available within the code. So we will going to cover some feature about Git leaks. What we will do, we will going to scan one repository and we will going to generate the report. And that report will give us the details like what are all secrets we have detected within that report. So now let's be begin the demo. My friend Ashish will going to demonstrate the entire tool. So over to you, Ashish. Uh, thanks, Linish. So it's here we have the reference URL. I mean the Git URL for the Git leaks tool. From the pair, you can download it. Let's begin the demo. So first, we'll uh, start installation of the Git leaks tool. So is the simple command. It's a updating home view. So uh, I already have installed this tool in my uh, Mac. Uh, that's the reason I am getting this uh, message that's already installed and update. Uh, otherwise, uh, uh, if you're not installed, it will initiate the installation pro uh, process. Uh, and as I already have installed it, if I wanted to see the version of Gitleaks, so the command is simple. Gitleaks version, so it says 7.6.1. Now, to use the Gitleaks, I'm going to use the application WebGoat. So WebGoat is an intensely vulnerable app, uh, which normally uh, security researchers, you know, security engineers, they use to learn the or uh, to sharpen their uh, Mm, they have cyber skills. So they are, we just going to clone the directory, command it git clone, then URL. So here's the URL for like what? So the command is git clone and then URL. So it says the destination path that would already exist and it is an empty directory. It's not an empty directory. So yes, that's true because I already have this WebGoat URL installed, uh, sorry, WebGoat installed already in my uh, Mac. So this reason is the same. Otherwise it uh, have started the uh, copying progress. Now to use the git leaks, we're going to use command. It leaks hyphen hyphen path equal to slash users ashish webgoat hyphen v reports that stop it leaks 
the json so what this is this is basically is your path where your file actually exist for me this web goat is exist in this path so please make sure when you are running this command with leaks you are copying the right path normally uh, when you uh, do this practices uh, uh, we used to this very simple mistake so let's trigger this and uh, here i'm just copying uh, this uh, uh, this dot json report on my desktop so let's, let's initiate it this is opening slash users ashish webbot i mean this is my path and it will trigger the process so just wait for one minute Now you can see it's already uh, started the pro process. So now I'm uh, going to uh, skip this part and uh, skip this video. And while the scan is running, we'll come back soon. Okay, so scan has been uh, finished. Now you can see, uh, it shows total leak found nine. And here, if you see, uh, let's e evaluate the report actually. So this is the report it has generated on my desktop. Uh, on our, a name that we have given is git leak dot json. So you can see it. Here, if you see, this is line number 34, commit ID, repo, repo URL. If you are scanning the uh, directly uh, GitHub URL, and the leak URL. Here you can see the author name, author email, file, date, tag. And what I would like to show you, here it is, if you see, this is the offender, that means this is a leak. This is the access key ID developer has missed to remove from here, it is exposed. So there is total nine instances for this kind of problem. And this is what uh, it leaks is reporting to us in the report leak found nine. So that's all for this video. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.